Yeah, I grew up cutting cabbages on the Poverty Bay Flats, Marafiro, Gisborne. My parents came from China back in 1947 and they bought a, a little cottage and part of the house was a dirt floor and that's where we grew up. The land is um, important to us in terms of that it provides an economic base, you know, provides food on the table and um, it's important to look after it but, um, you know, if someone offers us a good price to sell it, we'll sell the land too. Yeah, I became the mayor in 2001 and I'm the only Māori speaking mayor in the whole of New Zealand since then and still the same at the present time. When he does his whakapapa, he whakapapas back to the cabbage and the, the lettuces and the, so unlike the Māori, we can whakapapa back to our people. <laughs> Yeah, a week ago we thought we might have a hangi, so we went out pig hunting yesterday and we caught a beautiful pig. Six o'clock in the morning and we're putting down a hangi in the front yard and we're going to give our mates a feed. I can't see us seeing another Chinaman like him. When I first took him up to uh, my uncle's tangi, he uh, spoke on the marae and we weren't used to seeing a Chinese speak Māori as fluently as he did. brother. This is beautiful premium soy and Chinese style mixed up with the Mary style and the Pakia style. Is there any soy sauce? It's nice, mate. Yeah, it's any soy sauce. I don't think you could actually understand a people if you don't actually know their language. They can't take the mickey out of me because I know everything about them. Yep. Hey, geez, eh? you got the new shoes too, me. <laughs> Oh, this will be why he tapu you now. Why he tapu this one? Hey, he said, "Well, <laughs> this place is now a a, a tapu area. It's spiritual, <laughs> but it's only because he's made it." <laughs> Don't crack that lens, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't want to put the hangi anywhere because there's been uh, people buried all over the place. There was place for human waste. There was place for kai. There was place for battle, there was place for sleeping, and there was place for two papaku. Great, Aye. great. Two, pa pa two papaku means the dead. Oh! It's important to actually have the land available for future generations that provides an economic base, you know, provides food on the table. Beautiful. <laughs> 